All right, today we're gonna learn how to paint this fire nado, devastating this forest. So what was the most deadliest wildfire ever? Run through the colors. Mars black, titanium white, pearly red, quin red, Indian yellow, primary yellow, phthalo green, quin blue, phthalo blue. All right, today we're gonna learn how to paint a fire nado. It's gonna have kind of a dividing line right at that kind of golden ratio level. Gonna have a fire nado the reflection, so it's kind of a, a nice. Um, Repetition of imagery, which is really good in painting. I'm gonna have kind of a curvy, kind of S-curvy um, tornado that's a fire tornado. There's gonna be a little bit of flames here at the bottom, mostly on the flat, because it's flat because of the fire nado is kind of sucking up all the flames. We're gonna have this nice clear blue sky and then the really dark clouds here. All right, today we're gonna do a fire nado. It's gonna have this four scene here and a fire nado going up here um, as well. There's gonna be like a smoky background, so that's obviously Obviously, you're going to have smoke with the fire nader. And eventually, we're going to put in some trees at the very end, tail end, to kind of frame this better. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do it here. Just add a path, maybe a S path or something. maybe the, a little bit more touch kind of blend this smoke back in better it's a little bit thin right now so we need to um, color that in um, the color is pretty good as far as like dark red to yellow and then it's gonna be white here we're gonna add a little bit more white probably to kind of make it really the fire spot and we need to fill this in as well it's much more the yellow should be on the bottom not on the top here so they need to reverse that orange to here versus there and bring that yellow in, maybe create a little bit of sporadic fires here and there. We need to fill this in. Some of it should be burnt and smoking, and then some of them should be kind of maybe green. So I think maybe brown looks like not much survived the fire, which makes sense. And then hopefully if this is done, we can add some tree lean in the background to kind of add more drama. There's gonna be that tree we're gonna add in here and you know, color that in, add a tree possibly there. Uh, I don't know if it needs a tree here. It's framed in the picture, but Personally, I don't know if it's needed.
This was the Peshtigo fire in 1871 in Wisconsin, and it burned over 1.2 million acres, so not quite as big as the largest fire, wildfire, but because it was more density of people, they were estimated from 1,500 to 25 people, 2,500 people died in this fire. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. So we got these kind of branches poking into the scene. We have a fire NATO. It's taking out a whole forest. You can see the trees in the background. And we have some uh, kind of brush trees in the background off to the side with some fires here and there and a little bit of green at the bottom. So I think overall it has a good balance between light brown to green to kind of the burnt landscape. So you kind of want that transition area. It has this really nice baby blue. The smoke isn't kind of overwhelming the whole scene. So you kind of have a nice contrast blue to kind of reds, to grays. So it's got a nice contrast there as well as the yellow in the center of the painting. The fire nado looks pretty hot. I probably, I'm thinking I maybe should just add a little white there to make it pop, but I think I'll just leave it. I think it's fine. Um, overall, hopefully you guys like it. I like it. And if you want to see me on the, if you want to subscribe, subscribe below and I'll see you in the next painting video. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.